listening to you laddies, my name is Rexeptagon and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm sorry that it's been such a long time. I was putting off this episode for a really long while because I didn't know how I was going to approach it. Because the last time- oh god, everything's- <laughs> The last time I had said that I was- I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know if I was actually going to- there's another fucking thing in here. Can I have it? I said I didn't know if I was going to cheat or not. Or cheat. Um. And I've decided that I am going to spawn in certain items that I need. Only for these bases and the fact that to keep myself alive. Because I was going to do everything properly. I was going to go back and go back to my Cyclops and get back into that and go back to my base and reassess. And come back and try and build a base closer to this and everything. And I thought, you know what? I'm here. Why would I bother doing all of that just to achieve the exact same thing anyway? And the fact that I had like 20% food left and to try and get back out I had 20% energy left in my prawn suit which meant that on the way back out I was likely gonna die and if I died I was gonna respawn in my cyclops which meant that the prawn suit was gonna get left down here and I would have to find my way back there without a prawn suit down into depths that I needed the prawn suit to get so it made no sense to not spawn the stuff in that I needed so I spawned in some purple artifacts and a little bit of food just to keep myself afloat um, because, and I did ask you guys as well what you'd rather see, and some people did say that they'd like to see me do it properly, but other people were like, Jack, we don't care if you'd spawn in a couple of little things here and there, we just want to see cool shit that the game has to offer, and that's exactly my mindset. I just want to see cool shit in this game. I don't really care about doing it properly. Not right now, not that it's still early access, the game is coming out in a couple of months, so I was like, you know what, let's just see cool shit for now and then we can do it properly later. Um, and people were pointing out this, saying that it was a gate, and I was trying this last time, that it's like a portal hole, but there's no, like, there's no place to put in anything. It's not prompting me to be able to put in an ion crystal anywhere, to be able to up open up a portal. Otherwise, I would have done that. I would have just put the ion crystals into this, and teleported back home, but for some reason, it's not allowing me to do any of that. I don't know why. Um, but let's explore this area a bit more. One of those fucking robots attacked me as well. You gonna attack me? He like came after me and started biting my ankles. It kinda sucked, so I had to kill him. But there's still more there. Oh yeah, this is the way out. Okay, we're not we're not going back out there just yet. No, that is all death out that direction. I want to go back in because I have my artifacts now. Insert artifact. There we fucking go. Nice. Because hopefully this will help us actually get back then. Or at least just give us more data as to what's going on. What are you? Blue artifact. Okay. And I have an orange one. As well. But I've never found anything that uses those. Okay, that's another way out. I don't need more ways out. Wait, what are those? Oh, those are my cameras. Another doorway? Yeah. And an ion crystal, thanks. Ow! Motherfucker! I hate those little robot douchebags. Can somebody give me just like a teleport back somewhere? Oh, this place looks... This place looks scary. What the fuck? Okay, they're scannables. Oh yeah, you can self-scan now to see how much infected you are. Before Performing... Scan. Vital signs oh. normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. Ooh. Oh, this is an alien thermal plant. Ooh. Can I have this? This system converts thermal energy to electrical current at 90% efficiency. Whoa. Some of this energy is chemically stored on site while unknown mechanisms appear to be transferring most of it to remote locations elsewhere on the planet. 30% stored on site for emergency use. 30% ground to air quarantine enforcement platform. That must be the gun, right? 22% uh, primary containment facility. 11% disease research facility. 7% self warping quarantine enforcer units. The warpers! So they're using 7% of the energy that's here. Jesus, so this is just a thermal plant then. System appears to be fully automated and given current understanding of the mechanisms involved, uninterruptible. Ooh. Jesus Christ! You fucking bitch! You're scaring the shit out of me. Download data! Okay. This. 
data. Thanks! This alien data reveals some of the mechanisms by which the designers were able to contain and harness such vast amounts of energy within the ion crystals discovered around their facilities. Improved battery and power cell blueprints which take advantage of this information now available for fabrication. Ooh! Ion battery! Ion crystal and copper ore and ion power cells! Ooh! Okay, there's more data down here. Thanks! <laughs> this terminal appears to be controlling the delivery of a substantial portion of the power plant's energy to a vast facility elsewhere on the planet. Calculations indicate the facility is located less than one kilometer south from the thermal building in a chasm that exceeds depth so far navigated. Ah, shit. Okay, what are you doing? This geological data was recorded from the volcanic rock that was excavated to construct this facility. It was possible to extrapolate a number of key trends. Genetic divergence. The aliens recorded data on indigenous organic remains originating between 10,000 and 1,000 years ago. The life forms on record feature an unusually low overlap with those encountered so far. Soil samples from 1,000 years ago contain 300% higher concentrations of organic remains than the soil average. Data supports a mass extinction event killing off the majority of species and forcing rapid adaption amongst many of the survivors. Causes unknown, plausible theories, fluctuating environmental conditions, disease, meteor impact, or outside interference. Okay, well the stuff that we found kind of indicates all of those. Well, fluctuating environmental conditions could be a, a factor of the meteoric impact, but we found a, a crater in the ground. That's where I found the precursor cache, and outside interference could have led to disease. Um, but it seems like there was an outbreak of a disease here that they were trying to contain. Um... And then they all left. Which, somebody told me to scan the skull of the Leviathan dudes. Which might be a good idea. So that's all the stuff that was in there, so... Nothing revolutionary or anything. Certainly nothing worth fucking risking my death to go out and then come all the way back just to get that information. I would be pissed if I did not spawn in those items right now. And I really wish this fucking thing worked. Just bop it bop it bop and put in a fucking ion crystal somewhere and power this thing on and then go back to my island or something? I don't know. Seems like that this is a slave portal and there's a master portal somewhere. I don't fucking know, but we need to head back out. Detecting alien materials and a massive local energy mass within the thousand... Oh, you're gonna do it, aren't you? Oh, he's doing it. Oh, he's doing it. No, not down here. No, fuck. What the fuck? I didn't know you could do that! Jesus Christ, he spawned one of those right in front of me! Motherfucker! Holy shit, okay, you're good at your job at like protecting and shit then, I guess. Oh god, the fucking dragon is out there still. This is all death! This is all the bad! This is an ungodly fuck of a place. Hi! Hi! How's it going? Fucking forgot about you slightly being right outside here. This place is awful. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's awesome. I love this area. It's one of my favorite areas in the game. But good Jesus! This is a harsh wilderness to try and fucking get around. Are you anything? No? Okay, I'm heading south just because you told me that there was stuff south. But I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I'm not seeing anything, you motherfucker. That is so cool watching him in the distance. Like going in and out of like the mist. It's fucking awesome. Also, those look like boobs. Just saying. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, go out and scan. God, I'm gonna fucking die. Can I not scan you? People said I could scan you. Oh, I've been lied to. I've been had. I'm fucking dying now. Can I really not scan you? Like at all? Oh man! Maybe it wasn't that one. Maybe it was the gigantic skull that I found that time. I don't know. All I know is that I'm closer to death now. And I'm severely dehydrated. Well, almost. Oh god, this, this is even fucking deeper down. Where am I? What's happening? D did I do bad? Is this the badness? Yeah, cause figuring- realizing that if I died down here, my fucking mech gets left down here. And I do not want to have to make another mech. Let's keep exploring deeper. The- the lava castle thing and the dragon are there, so that's the- that's the base I was in. 
And I did get a blue artifact. Still have to find out a place to use the orange one. I think the orange one might have been used in that broken down facility that I found. But I thought that there was nothing in there. I thought I couldn't actually get into it, which apparently I could. I was just a bit silly and didn't try hard enough. Well, that was also because I, I wanted to explore further on the resources that I had at the time. And I didn't know how bad things were going to get, so... I'm going to keep exploring this way. And hopefully find another one, because we still haven't found the primary containment facility. I thought that that's what that was, because it's all encased, but... Apparently that's the, the thermal generator one. Well, that's what it told me it was. It told me to go south from that, though, but I couldn't find anything going that way. I don't know, I'll search around, hopefully I don't die. Oh, oh, I think I found something. Here's a giant hole that goes down into nothing but redness. Oh, really? Really? You gonna tell me about dehydration? Well, of course there's dehydration! There's nothing but fucking heat around me! <laughs> I'll be fine, Cindy, don't even worry about it. Okay, so this is the active lava zone. I mean, this has to be. Compared to the other one, yeah, I can see how the other one would be inactive and this would be active. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's all fucking lava! There's another dragon down there! What? I thought there was only one dragon! Dude! Dude! There's precursor shits! Okay, let, let's drizzity drop it on down. Oh, and I see another precur pre precursor facility. Okay! Found it! Okay, I, f I found it! No need, no need to go look it anymore! Oh god almighty Jesus Christ! Okay, last time you fired one fireball. That's a bit more than one fireball. Okay, but I'm gonna try and like hop and skip across this. I don't even know if, if I touch that will I die. Okay, you stay there! Is it okay? Don't kill me! Please don't fucking kill me. Okay, I'm gonna save it just in case. Cause if he kills me, I'ma be pissed. Actually, I probably should have saved it a little while ago. Or not saved it at all, because I'd just go back to where I was. Can you even grab that? Yes, you fucking can. Okay, okay, okay. Very loud, very loud, very close. Very close, stranger danger. Okay, let's just go in here and be done with you. Um, hello? I want in! Oh god, is this only an exit? Fuck. Okay, let's let's just search out around. You know, because this is one of those trips where you have all the time in the world to just explore. Yeah, it's not like you went to a new fucking place with your family and you're like, you know what? We've never been here before. Let's let's look around and explore and see the place. That's not what I want to do here. I just want to get in and be safe. Oh fuck my ass, man. So this thing is actually built into the mountain. That's nuts. It's like a big cross. Wait, are you anything? Oh god, that's fucking scary. Hi, buddy. Okay, yeah, you're just fucking decoration. More like decoration, am I right, y'all? Haha! <laughs> what the fuck is this place? I mean, I, I have a feeling that it's the primary center precursor doodad majigger. Full official title, by the way. Oh, don't crash now. Now is not the time for the crashy crash. Yeah, this is all built into the fucking mountain. There's no other way in. <sighs> it's safe in here. Kinda. At least that's what I would be saying if I could actually get in. The fuck do I do? I'ma repair you, Pepper. And you better fucking like it. Okay. I lo I was looking it up. Apparently you can't get in. Apparently they haven't like put this part of the game in yet. That kind of sucks. Cause this is going to be like a a, a big. Well, I, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's a containment facility, so obviously it contains something. So they're they're still building this section of the game, but it kind of sucks that I can't go into it now. I was really looking forward to exploring that. I spent ages looking for that. Now I would have been super fucking pissed if I went off and farmed out. Jeez, that guy's like a bat out of hell. If I went off and farmed a bunch of shit and then came back and actually couldn't do any of this stuff. That would have sucked! Okay, yeah, that is taking energy off me. Oh my god, go away! Fuck you! Piss off! 
Not today! No thanks! None of your fucking cookies! Jesus Christ, he got close. Okay, now I am on the, the front side of that bastard. Don't do it! Don't do it! I know you want to! Now we can possibly try and head out of this area and get home. See you later, buddy! God. So, maybe that's an area for the Sea Emperor to be, because I know there's Sea Emperors coming into the game and you can spawn them in now, but they're not the size that they're gonna be, and they don't really have the same mechanics that they're gonna have when they're actually fully implemented, so maybe we'll find one of them inside that. That'd be cool. Because the, the, the Sea Emperor is supposed to be part of the lore that it's not able to be infected. And that's kind of why they have it contained and they're researching it to try and figure out how to, like, reverse engineer the infection. Blah 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 blah. Spider mech. Spider mech. Does whatever a spider mech mech. I wanna head home to the boobs. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare! No! 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 You can spawn in your buddies all you want! But do not pull me out of this! I've come too fucking far, man! To get dragged down by the likes of you! You motherfuckers, go away! I can't go up! I have no thrust! Ah! We're fine! We're fine! We're fine! We're okay! Oh, Jesus, mother of fucking Christ! Were you trying to attack me? Okay! That- if that was ever a cue to leave, it was that one. It's like, you know when you're at somebody's house? And you're like, you don't know if you're st overstaying your welcome, and then they come out and they start breathing fire at you, and you're like, oh, okay. Sorry, Steve. Yeah, I'll, I'll go home. Yeah, my bad. It's just that I don't have anybody at home. I don't have any family. I live there all by myself. There's nobody back there. Just all alone, isolated and afraid. I thought maybe I could just hang out a little longer with my friend Steve and his lovely wife, Matilda. And, you know, just maybe feel like I'm part of a family again. But no, I get it. I get it. I go home. I, I got it. I, I I leave. Go back to my my one bedroom apartment. <laughs> I'm coming home. I'm coming home. The total world. I'm coming home. <laughs> Finally get to go out of hell. Literal hell on this planet. It's underground. It's full of fire and brimstone, and it has a demon in it. Fuck this place! Okay, but I really should uh, stock up on items before I leave. Here it is! The entrance! Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Sorry, I watched The Hunchback of Notre Dame again recently. I forgot how good that movie was! The music, the tone, the vibe, because I've been going back and watching a lot of older animated movies, specifically Disney movies, because stuff like The Lion King and Aladdin and stuff like that, I hadn't seen those since I was a child. Um, and going back and watching them now, they're, they're different than I remember. They're like a lot less grand because everything when you're a child is like, whoa! Um, and like, because Hercules was one of my favorite Disney movies when I was younger. Just because, I don't know, it's cool. Had Hydra, had Titans. Um, and going back and watching it, I was like, man, far less happened in this movie than I remember. Um, and it was the same with a lot of them. Like Lion King, it was like, Damn, he spends like fuck all time as adult Simba. Like, I remember him being adult a lot longer. And then I was thinking maybe I'm just thinking about the second movie and everything all kind of rolled into one. But going back and watching Hunchback of Notre Dame, that one blew me away again. Just because the music, the music and the tone and the vibe and the lighting and everything in that movie is, is a lot more sinister than it seems on the surface. It's fucking cool. Like fire. Hellfire! One of my favorite Disney songs. Look at that! It's so fucking pretty! I kind of glanced past it when I was going here the first time. Because I was very aware of the amount of resources I had, so I was flying through everything, trying to get to where I wanted to go. It's fucking cool. Yeah, I never would have gotten back out of here. I never would have survived. I could have gotten back out to here. But the amount of dehydration and stuff that I had, like, I had no way of making water or anything like that. And people were pointing out last time that, Jack, you can make precursor f f artifacts. And I, I know. I, I made them before. And I remember that I could make them and everything. That wasn't the problem. It was that 
even if I could make them, I couldn't back out, get back out to my Cyclops where I had a fabricator to be able to make them anyway. So that's why I was asking if I should spawn them in, not because I had no other way of knowing how to get them. Ooh! This is a skeleton bones I didn't see before. Oh, it's a head! Whoa! Oh, it's one of the dragons! The guys who breathe fire! Can I scan you? Sea dragon skeletal remains. Okay. Scan that fast. That of, a, of the sea dragon leviathan, suggesting it is either the same species or a close cousin. One, head trauma. There is clear evidence of physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe, it must have been received shortly before death, somewhere nearby, likely caused by high-speed collision with a solid object. Two, age. The skeleton has been well preserved, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death around a thousand years ago. Bone growth suggests that creature itself was in the egg-laying stage of its life cycle. Damn. Oh yeah, your head is all caved in. Did you crash into a wall? Are you a dum-dum? Ah, there's the other facility. Okay. I didn't know if it was back further or over here. Let's see if we can actually get into it this time. Now that I'm not panicking. Now that I know that this is not the scariest place in the whole game. Further down into fire! Hellfire! This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Cause unknown computing theories. <laughs> Are you really going to compute theories? So it wasn't always down here, it was up there. I guess. Well, you did say it collapsed to the sea floor. I don't really see any other options. Did, did you make up some- an alien broadcast, linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. Woohoo! Hazardous life forms contained within, you say? That just makes Jack want to say, oh, let's go in! Is that an entrance? Oh, 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 you look like an entrance, baby daddy. Hell yeah, okay, we're in. I didn't know if I could actually get in or not. What hazardous materials and life forms do you have? In this section are substantially reinforced. Indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Dude, were you trying to keep some shit in here? It backfired and killed you? Just some skeleton bones. Okay, what is this? Can I scan? Can I break? I want in! Oh man. So this was some sort of containment facility as well then. I get into my, my pepper. Oh look! There's like displays. Interesting. Damage report. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter. Closing at high speed. Exterior wall impacted with massive force. Oh! Connect the dots! The... The... The sea dragon, Leviathan. Crashed into this. Lifeform containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs breached. General structural integrity compromised. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed, one specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to offsite sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated at the following sites. Ground to air. Okay, quarantine protocol. So that's the that's the place where I have my base. Enforcement platform, power plant, and primary containment facility. Infected individuals may not leave the planet. Dude, there's another fucking school in there! Ooh. So, did they take the, the dragon's eggs? Because I said it was in the egg stage- Oh, yes. It was in the egg stage of its life. And there's an egg back there, so maybe the thing crashed into it to try and get their eggs back. Can I scan you? Yes. The skeleton remains of a vast predator discovered inside an artificial habitat of the alien research facility. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life, though it has since decayed. Time of death coincides with the facility's abandonment. There is little physical damage to the skeleton, suggesting deaths from malnourishment or outside interference. 
very interesting. Well, let's share some skeletal traits with the biter. This fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms, more in common with the sea dragon. It matches no living species encountered so far, indicating it has either faced extinction in the past thousand years or evolved beyond recognition. Maybe they forced it to evolve. Maybe they were experimenting on things and splicing genes together and splicing DNA together. This is fascinating! We're learning so much in this episode! Oh god. Residual biological evidence suggests that indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive gene manipulation. Dude, this is where the warpers were being made! Dude, that's fucking cool! Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly Receiving energy directly from this facility and distributing it around the body Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is, and is triggered by the central nervous system Allowing the construct to teleport at will The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented with advanced processing power and remote communications Programmable hunter killer that's fucking cool. So this is where they were putting the warpers together and splicing genes and DNA and body parts and everything. I'm gonna have to say that that's radtacular. Data pertaining to the bacteria is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Oh god, did I just infect myself further? Attach- Bacterial mechanisms Attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure Symptom stage 1, none Stage 2, gradual immune system failure Stage 3, unpredictable alterations to biological structure And 4, complete shutdown of executive function Confirmed deaths so far 143 billion Treatment procedure unknown So what- what people say is like the goal of the game is that You build your facilities and everything and you get further into the game and then you get to the lava zone You get to that containment facility where possibly The sea emperor is You use them To Get information on a cure because they're immune to it so you use them to reverse engineer a cure And then you inject yourself with it and then you escape the planet I think that that's what the the end goal for the game actually is. Caution. Dehydration detected. Dehydration detected, yeah. I think we've seen everything that we can see in here. Which is absolutely awesome. Oh wait, no we haven't! Insert artifact! I need more data. I need more information. I need to figure out what the hell is going on. Lest I... Commit the same offences and repeat history. Added. Oh, thanks. I got, I got a signal for a thermal plant. Oh, it's not like I haven't found it. This device appears to hold alien research data. It seems that the alien civilization was facing a mass extinction event brought on by the bacterium. Oh, so the mass extinction event was the disease then. So maybe the meteor crater impact- Okay, I need oxygen. Maybe the crater meteor impact wasn't the extinction event. Uh, they established this facility to study the infection and possible cures in seclusion. Of the specimens on record, only one survived infection with this bacterium. The closest translation of their symbol for this spe specimen is the Emperor. Sea Emperor. For some reason, this facility was insufficient to study the Emperor specimen and it was instead contained within a purpose-built habitat elsewhere on the planet. While it is unlikely, unlikely that the specimen in question is still contained within the facility, it is possible the alien researchers left behind information relating to the cure they were seeking. References to the Emperor containment facility in the data are scarce, but its location is suggested to be approximately volcanic- Okay. Well, I found that already, so I don't need your fucking handouts. I hope- Typical me! Finding everything in reverse! It was the same when I found the the precursor facility on the other planet. I found that in reverse as well. Okay, I'm actually going back over this way. Okay. Let's get out of here for good and forever and for always. I really hope they bring in a creature that's like this size in the game. Um, like this skeleton right here. That'd be cool. I mean, I don't know how taxing that is to actually make a character that big and the animations and 
stuff like that, but... I don't know, I just want more creatures, and because I think the reason I want more creatures is because a lot of the creatures end up looking very similar to each other. Like, the... The Reaper Leviathans that we normally find with, like, the claws out the front and all that stuff. The first big monsters that we found in the game. They, they kind of look like the sea dragons, the guys who breathe fire. In certain ways, like, they all have, like, this snake-like, octopusy, tentacled type of look to them. And, uh, I don't know, I find that kind of boring after a while. I'd, I'd like more, like, two-legged or quadrupedal or... Something like that. Like Kaiju from Pacific Rim. I want more creatures like that. That are able to like bound around like gorillas or something. I don't know, having stuff that kind of swims around like a snake all the time or like... I guess like a fish. I, I mean, I get it. I know why they make them that way and it makes more sense to do it that way. But I mean, it's a game about alien creatures. I feel like you could kind of just make whatever the fuck you want and go with it. And I don't think people would really care. So I, I, I just love to see more of that. I didn't realize there were skeleton bones right there. Lots of skeleton bones. It's like a fucking graveyard here. Oh my god, Maria! I have never been happier to see you in my entire- Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I'll be there in a second, baby! Don't worry! <laughs> I'm just stopped from a little EMP discharge. Oh yeah, I was down where the sea treaders were. So I didn't know if I could bring Maria any further. I think you actually can bring Maria, like, all the way down into the lava zone if you want. Am I in? Oh, thank god! Systems online. Oh my god, it feels good to be back. Holy fucking shit. Okay, well I'm gonna leave this episode of Subnautica here. Holy god, that was a lot to take in. That was an amazing episode. We learned a lot in that one. Probably not as amazing as the last one because that was crazy. Um, and again, I'm sorry that it took me so long to get to this point. Again, I was so worked up in my own head about like, should I just spawn the things in or not? Or, oh, I don't know, people might, people might not like that. Um, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to make the best series I can for the people who watch. And then I started to think, well, you know what? People don't mind, and it's just going to be a pain in the ass if I have to go off and get everything and then come back, and it would take- I would just lose hours of time. So, I, I figured, why not just spawn them in and see what the game has to offer, because there was not a whole lot more to see. Um, and I think that that's all there is to see in the game right now. I don't think there actually is a whole lot more to the game in the updates that they have. So, and the game's going to be out in, like, May. I get it. I think I actually have food downstairs. I think the game's coming out in May, so we've seen what the game has to offer for now, and then whatever updates they do in the future, or if they're just going to release the game fully, I don't know. But hopefully we get to see a whole lot more of this game soon. Not to, not to say that this is going to be my last episode until it's fully released, I just don't know what else there is to see. I do have some items now that I can go back and make some stuff for my, my prawn suit, and maybe there's stuff that I haven't seen already that I can look up and if you guys have any suggestions of stuff that I actually haven't seen in the game yet that I can go back and see. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Hi guys all around. Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! Okay, that's good, that's good. Now tie him down! Tie him down, stick him to the ground! Hell is the purple shit. Oh, there's a loop! There's a morb up there! What that do? That was an emotional journey. We had ups, we had downs, we had almost deads.